Martin Belcher, aka Naked Martin, is a lifelong nudist from England. He found some popularity on Twitter around 2017 for his nude dance videos. Martin is in his 50s and suffers from mobility issues. Ankylosing spondylitis. And his message of body positivity seemed to resonate with the general public. His original account boasted over 30,000 followers. After being let go from his job at a call center, Naked Martin would go full time and personalized video requests would become his main source of income. And they were popular. He found an unlikely audience in young football fans who were all too happy to prank their pals with Martin's antics. He even made the news. His content straddled the line of good taste, and it was just the right combination of naughty but nice to grow and maintain a mainstream audience. He seemed destined for some kind of B-list success, the uni circuit, perhaps even a novelty pop song. I mean, if the Weldstone Raider can, oh, you like then why not? When I say Rolstone, you say Raider. Can you turn it off? Yes, all was good for Martin until sometime in 2019, when one of his private request videos would surface online. It was a paid request. That, that's, you know, that, that, that's true. Somebody asked me to, to pay me to do it. I did it. It was disgusting. So what did Martin do? Well, for a mere 40 pounds, Martin defecated onto white bread, made a sandwich, and proceeded to greedily chow down. You're sitting there imagining that. It was, I can't even describe how it tastes because it's, there's no words even to, to, to describe it. You dirty fecker. The video blew up. Naked Martin was trending, and his audience, who were once delighted with his message of body positivity, now horrified by what they'd seen, they unsubbed in droves. Flustered Martin desperately attempted some kind of damage control and posted a groveling walk back to his followers. It was a private video, never meant to be shared, and it was just a one-off thing he swore. But it was no good. Martin's reputation as the naughty but nice fella who cheerfully dances with his Douglas out was in tatters. He would sail against the wind for some time, blocking anyone who mentioned the cursed video, but the internet never forgets. From now on, he would be forever known as the man who ate the turd sandwich. But Martin would come to a decision. Don't back down, double down. Whilst this terrible event had alienated much of his audience, for a subsection, this was great. They could get Martin to do anything. Martin would embrace his remaining audience, and from here on out, Nothing would be off limits. Martin would go all in on extreme content, and Gross Out would become his bread and butter. The dancing that brought him such mainstream attention in the beginning would become a formality. In a post-turd sandwich world, how could an awkward nude jig compete when you've got a library of videos like this? Your fans have spoken, Martin. Martin had become a kind of customizable goatsy for the WhatsApp age. Horrify your mates with the most disgusting thing you could think of. His antics would be weaponized to torment long-suffering YouTuber Callum Adams, where fans bombard him with personalized videos. It's disgusting. Martin's exploits have even ended up on the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> That's naked Martin. <laughs> Martin's popularity amongst young men would see him briefly branch out into public appearances. For just £300, you could book Martin for your stag do, something that seemed destined to end in some kind of horrible drunken catastrophe, which of course it did. In 2019, during a stag do in Ibiza, Martin was punched in the face, force-fed ketamine before being left in a vomiting heap. The ordeal seems to have left a lasting impression, as stags don't seem to be something he does anymore. Martin's original Twitter account would eventually be suspended for, of all things, the use of copyrighted music. He's managed to claw back a following on his two new accounts, but engagement isn't what it was. So what drives Martin? Is it all just banter with the lads? Or is there something more to his relentless pursuits in filth?
when they say about like they'll come to me and say, oh, I think that video you did was disgusting. Why did you do it? I mean, I will say to them, well, hold on. Have you thought about the person who's requested that? Yeah. Because that's in their mind, not my mind. So what's Martin's deal? He insists he gets no pleasure from the gross out stuff and that it's all just business. But he also claims to have been munching on feces since his 20s. When looking at his Twitter today, it's plain to see that he's clearly pivoted more towards kink. His latest thing is doxing himself, a dangerous practice that clearly excites him no end. I suppose once you've revealed every part of yourself to the world, what's left? Personal information, phone number, address. Exposure by every definition seems to be Martin's raison d'etre. And the whole Naked Martin show starts to look like one big exercise in getting his rocks off. His lack of success with self-doxing has led him down an even more direct route, where he's now literally inviting strangers to throw buckets of noxious fluids on him in public. The lead up to one of these arranged meetups corresponded with the writing of this very script, potentially serving as a kind of exciting narrative device in determining how this story would end. But of course nobody turned up. Perhaps an entirely appropriate ending, actually. So there we are. That's Naked Martin. Did he accidentally throw away his shot at a mainstream audience in a misguided placement of trust? Or was it all an incredible thrill to have so many eyes on his fall from grace? 